The AFTV USA Tour is brought to you today by NordVPN. NordVPN offers you secure and private internet browsing on the go with maximum protection. You can stream all your GeoBlock programs and it's fast. From a click of a button, you can be anywhere in the world. Feel invincible with NordVPN and get an exclusive deal by clicking this link in the description. AFTV, we're rounding up up here with the uh, the American Goon. I remember I met these two guys um, yesterday, all the way, you know, the Peruvian Gooners, they Peru, said. Peru, and we're from West Palm Beach. Yeah. Javi, Danny, let's go, boys. It was a pleasure meeting you guys, especially at the bar and all the Arsenal fans in the uh, Orlando, man. Woo! Big up all you guys. Woo! What did you make of today's performance? Honestly, first time seeing Arsenal play, so it was an awesome, like an awesome pleasure. Drink, drink them true. Uh, I see uh, Mikel Arteta, his plan is coming to uh, fluidity, and he's also, he's, everyone's uh, fighting for their place. He's bringing the same structure that he learned, or I guess that he taught in Man City, and putting it to us. And everyone doesn't have a place, and like you said, they're fighting for it, and we see that, and mm. it's, it's lovely. Yeah. Optimistic going ahead. Yeah, I mean, we can go for top four. We just need those couple signings, just like Troop said. And honestly, just like with the connection, you can see the family base, the, the Brazilian Drago Bonito. And yeah, man, big up, big up, big up. Love, love for the love. Also, I uh, like how William Saliba um, um, is playing. Uh, like he said, um, Troop said earlier, he's coming the ball. He's making our center backs look um, like regular. Like he's, he's, he's world class so far. He's like, he's like he said, he's a Rolls Royce of a player. Um, I'm glad we have in our team. Also, Call me Eddie, Gavi, oh, that no, connection. Man. Let's go. That connection, that chemistry, we're going to see that throughout the season. Hopefully, they can build to that and they can both contribute 15 goals each. And let's see how it go, baby. Let's go. Let me get my man here, right? Let me get my man here, right? You know, because obviously these guys, are, everybody today is really optimistic. Yep. You as well? Absolutely. Absolutely. For me, I think we need one more midfielder in the middle of the park. Who would you go for? Uh, either Tillemans or uh, uh, Serge Milakovic from uh, Lazio. Or, and we also need a center forward that is different from Eddie and Gabriel Jesus. Mm. We got small center forwards that could turn, make plays happen, but we also need a center forward like oh, someone like Giroud, if we could find him. Mm. Right? It doesn't have to be a big profile player, but something different than what we have right now. Mm. And that would really make us much more competitive. I'm concerned that if Partey or Shaka gets injured, we don't have enough meat in the middle. Right, so a lot of fans are over, overly excited, but the competition we have in the back right now, we need that in the center of the park. Okay. And if we don't have that, I think we're going to be in trouble. Okay. What about you? How are you feeling? I think um, Ateta's being able to switch play is when the tactics break down, he needs to do it quicker. The beginning of the second half was a bit jittery. The second half was he. Um, it was Chelsea was all going all. Well, they're in. always going to come. I mean, they they must have got an absolute blast from their manager at half time for their first half performance. So I kind of knew they were always going to come, but we coped with it well, didn't we? We did a bit, but it was it was getting too late. If um, Chelsea had someone clinical in the front, they probably should have banged in like two mm. before we made the changes. So the changes this season has to be quick and um, and um, very good. Are you confident for this season? I am a bit confident for top four, um, but Europa is going to be a bit wearing the players, so mm. I'm kind of very shaky. Okay, you confident? Oh yeah, I'm for. I'm really confident. So first of all, I just want to like you know, my condolences to our favorite Arsenal fan, Marie. Marie Ma yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 my condolences yeah, to yeah. how you know. Well said. Well said. And number two, what we, what I need to say is, can we talk about our summer signings? I mean, Gabby, Zenchenko, and even Saliba. Like, all of them guys are class. And like, do we see, you see how they play, play today, like Zenchenko, when he lobbed the ball over to Saka, how they was all intercommunicating, and like, when Zenko would go up, Xhaka would drop in, and like, they would all interchange. Like, I like the fluidity that we got. Yeah. I feel though that we do, I do feel like we need to get someone else, like Tielemans, you know, for the, for the fact, like, you know, Give, give like what everyone else was saying, some competition in the middle of the park. I feel like we need to get Tillemans or Milinkovic Savage, and I definitely do think we need to get Paqueta too, because Paqueta can also You're getting greedy now, man. <laughs> Let me get where that money from. I mean, so, <laughs> listen, those are three, but if you get two out of the three, then that's a win-win right there. All right, all right, all right. Let me, let me get these, let me get these, uh, hi, let me, get, right. let me get these ladies in, man. Let me get the ladies in. Um, the girl Gooners here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I love that. Muhammad and Jesus. Amen. Gunners. Love that. And I mean, 
it was an amen moment today. I it mean, they, they played brilliantly, didn't they? Absolutely. If they mm. keep this energy up, I think we got a good season ahead of us. Yeah. So I'm confident. Who, who impressed you today? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Just a team performance. Jesus? Husband saying Jesus. Let's Jesus. Go with Jesus. All right, all right. What about you? I love Saliba today. <laughs> he was really, he is smooth when the ball comes to him or there's anything that he needs to do. He moves on in there and gets the work done. No nerves about him, so it's really good. But I'd just like to say that me and my friend here are really happy to represent the women. Woo! We ran into we ran, we ran into Helen. Awesome. 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 Arsenal, 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 love it, love it. Yeah, and there's a lot of great female fans out there that watch AFTV and Helen, and we're really thrilled to be here and be a part of it. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely fantastic. And I'll tell you what, like, um, how good was it was it in here tonight? The atmosphere, oh the turnout. I mean, so how, how did you guys get into Arsenal? I got into Arsenal because my son started watching Thierry Henry many, many, many years ago. And since he lived with me for many years, I learned just about everything I could know about Arsenal. So it's really fun when I meet English gentlemen and I say, who's your team? And they think they just have me, that I, that I will know nothing. And I usually talk them under the table. So it's quite fun. And it's thanks to AFTV in large part. Now, listen, we're loving, we're loving the um, support that Arsenal has out here. I mean, you know, what can we do this season? You know, I mean, it's, it's been a while since we've won anything, really. But we, I think I can pick up the vibes from the fans here in the States and in England as well, that they're starting to feel a growth in this team, right? I think it's a confidence. It's yeah. a confidence that we're starting to feel as a team again, and I think that'll bring us a long way. Mm. That's it. So, so you, think we, you think we're starting to improve towards achieving something? Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. 4 0 against Chelsea. <laughs> what more do you need to yeah. say? Right. Awesome. Brilliant. That is awesome. We got my man in here. Hey, right. On? What about you? What's going on, baby? You, you, you happy? Of course I'm happy, bro. First of all, you here. That's beautiful, right? Uh, you you be sweating just as much in London. I heard it's hot out there, too. Uh, but welcome to the humidity. Uh, uh, brilliant, man. Humidity. Listen, it's good to see you in the flesh as well, man. Of course, man. You know what I mean? Because it. you see all these guys on these videos and that, man. You know what I mean? And now you're right here on their turf. Come on. But no. And, and it was a great performance by Arsenal today, wasn't it? Absolutely. And first of all, I love the press. I love what we're doing with the press. And also, I said this on the Complex Show with Flex, and he tweeted it out like I was talking wild shit. I said that Saliba will be the best center back in this league by the day that Virgil van Dijk leaves. And guess what? You've been seeing it in the preseason. So go ahead, tweet me all that bullshit you want, United fans. I don't care, Flex. I've been right. I am right. This dude is a horse, bro. I don't know where we got him. I don't know what we injected him with. I don't know if we gave him the same shit that Barcelona gave Messi, <laughs> but whatever it is, give me some of it, bro. <laughs> this dude is amazing. You know, he looked good out there today. He didn't looks it? incredible. Mm. God, and first of all, Gabriel Jesus, bro, I'm about to get him a phone card so he can make as many calls as he wants all season. <laughs> I'm about to get him a burner, whatever you need, my G. <laughs> wow. And yo, Enketia, I'm going to say this. I was wrong about Enketia. I thought, I thought what we saw at the end of the last season, I thought, yo, he's just playing for a contract. Bro, he showed up jacked. All right, my guy's been doing push-ups. That's what I was saying. That. I was saying that same thing the other day. The looking at him, he's he's bulked up, hasn't he? Bro, he's and he, all right. You could tell he wants to be Batman, but he's willing to play Robin right now to Gabriel Jesus. Yeah. And the two of them together, wow, wow. Odegaard, you're gonna be busy serving up. He's gonna be busy serving up, and them boys want to eat. Sir, let's go. That's what I like about America. <laughs> hey, hey, they got it bars. It ain't just bars. North London, bro. Brooklyn got some vibes too. Hey, Brooklyn, All right? baby, Brooklyn. Brooklyn? Brooklyn, baby. Of course, yo. Watch your wallets. Brooklyn, Brooklyn in the house. That's right. BK, let's go. Hey, Helen, Helen, follow that. Of course. That. Follow that, Helen. What can I say? London, New York, <laughs> Arsenal are global. <laughs> Helen, the, 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 the support over here oh, my bad, my bad, bro. in Florida in you know they've come from all over these fans all over america today to watch this game and the game the other night it's incredible isn't it it's been special i, I feel so blessed that i'm fortunate enough to be able to be here to come away to meet so many lovely people mm. They call themselves family. We are one big family, and mm. you feel it when you're away from home almost. Like, I can really appreciate it. I'm happy for all the fans that have been here yeah. all over America or other countries. They've yeah. all flown in from even out of the United States, 
and it's just so nice to see that football brings the fans and people of everywhere it doesn't matter where you're from we all come together and enjoy our team it's lovely yeah, and tell them we're real fans out here yeah. we're real fans out here stop saying that england yeah <laughs> they are they are real fans you know, you know what finally let me ask let me ask a few people here where we're going to finish this season obviously first Ooh, second, 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 second. We're going to get third. Third, third, yeah. Third. Third, yeah. I'm, I'm going for third, too. Third. Third. Third? Yeah. Confident with third? Yeah, absolutely. I think third's a guarantee. Third? Yeah, third. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll yeah, go for third with the um, UEFA Cup. We'll win that too. Yeah, like we're we're we are winning it, man. Big man thing. I hope I cup that. Yeah, yeah real rap. I hope I cup, bro. Yeah. Now, look, we never go in the Champions League, right? And all right, we wasn't going to win it. Them crap down the street, they're not going to win it either, right? So the UEFA Cup is a bigger chance. So that, I think, go for the UEFA Cup, go for the um, Carabao and the um, FA Cup. And we can get something out of them three. Yeah. And I, mean, I hear what he's yeah, saying, rap. but I don't think we can go for just one. Right? Rap, bro. The interesting is because we played Chelsea today. I think they actually haven't gotten stronger. Liverpool, I think if you compare the team to last season, they haven't gotten stronger. So I can see us finishing top three. Okay. Or even top two. It depends. I think Spurs, they've made good signings too. It's going to be tough, man. Top four, it's going to be a hell of a season. Always oh, tough. Man. Always tough for the Premier League. Wait, I say, first of all, I say Gabriel who? <laughs> Gabriel Jesus! Let's go! I say, I, I say Arsenal uh, tops off at two. Uh, we made Champions League and uh, we win it ne 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 next year. We win it next year. All right. First of all. Uh, if I could put a finger on it, I say top four, though, honestly. Like, when we're looking at this season, we, in the past, in recent years, we're lacking consistent star power. Somebody can turn a game like that. Gabriel Jesus, I feel like he could be that. If he has more playing time, he gets, you know, more comfortable under the team. If we have that, a couple more signings, you know what I'm saying, like a Cody Gakpo, uh, uh, Lucas Paqueta, I prefer Paqueta in the midfield. If we have something like that, top four is very achievable. That and either an FA Cup or a Europa League Cup, man. We we got to get something, man. We're going to double up this season. Something coming different. Um, I was right. Yeah. Where are we going to finish the season? I think third with Europa. Third with Europa. Yeah. Third with yeah. Europa. All right. Well, listen, rounding it up here. Robbie, where tie? It's, it, it ties at home. <laughs> <laughs> right. I want to just say thank you to all of the fans here Woo! in Florida. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. It's been an absolutely incredible trip. It's been brilliant. It's been hot, but we've loved it. We ain't going to complain. Right, but it's been brilliant. The fans, uh, somebody said it over there. Woo! I think it was Complex who said it. These are real fans over here. They absolutely love Arsenal. They're knowledgeable. They know the team inside out. And I, 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 w I was excited to see some fans here today that were saying to me, this is a, you know, seeing Arsenal in the flesh for the first time is incredible. And Arsenal put in a real performance today for these incredible fans over here. I think what Arsenal have done on this tour, the way they've reached out to the fans, the way, the way, I think it's been absolutely brilliant. You know what I mean? So they, they got to take credit as well, like all the people at Arsenal who put this tour together. They've really gone that extra mile with these fans out here, and I think that's been really, really good. And we've seen some great football from Arsenal, um, and hence the optimism. But it is only pre-season. Come that first game against Crystal Palace, that's going to be a different thing. right? It's going to be a very tough game. My prediction, I think, I think this team... I think this team with a couple more, I'm, basically I'm going with you guys. This team with a couple of more signings can get the top four this season and can win a trophy. It's going to depend obviously on players staying fit, but we can already start to see that there's the makings of a really good team. I enjoyed the type of football we played tonight. Chelsea couldn't live with it, right? And I know, I mean, Chelsea have played as many pre-season games as us and we made them look ordinary. Right, so it bodes well for Arsenal, but listen, thank you to everybody here in Florida. Thank you to all the amazing fans in America and beyond who traveled down for this. Right, we're back to the UK tomorrow. Right, um, friendly next week against Sevilla. Then the week after that, it all begins. Crystal Palace away, the big one. Let's get off to a better start than we did last season. And you never know what this team can do. Thank you. Let's go.
Shop for AFTV merch at shop.aftv.co.uk. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat, and Twitch. We've got content for every platform, so check it out.